last year. And now facing off with a Heisman contender, Trevon Boykin, who starts his day with a throw outside the clock winding down. Play action, Ty Slanino with a short gain. On third and six, Green motions out and throw underneath, knocked away. They wanted a flat out points. As you can see, they dropped the spot in the AP pool in this past week because they didn't score enough. They go play action on first down, and Josh Dotson spinning his way across the 30. Set a score record left. They wanted to get Trevon Boykin better at throwing them, and Josh Dotson better at running them. And get Boykin on second down, all day to throw, taking a shot down the field for the track star, Lissenby. He can heave that about 60, 65 yards. Here's Green making a cut in the hole, and Aaron Green is down to the five as we go back to that line. 65 yards in every bit of it. Penetration this time shutting Green down. Quarterback sneak here. That's what they do. They needed three yards and got five. They don't get under center much, and when they do, you know it's you. All these weapons they have. On first and goal, looking to throw the fade. Wants Dotson. On second down, it's green. Big hole, touchdown. 93. But we talked about the experience of this TCU offensive line. Check out the big fellas up front. Number 55, Joey Hunt, Jamal Neff, Brady Foltz, the center. It just seemed like they'll be outmatched. And Notre Dame just got a ton of talent. This drive starts from the 30. Ty Slanina makes a man miss and gets five yards before he's wrestled down by John. On second and five, play action for Boykin. Steps in the pocket, down the middle and off of the hands of Sean Nixon. Brings heat. They do. Boykin gets rid of it and beats the pressure with Lissenby for a pick. Be Lissenby. Green on a stretch play. Aaron Green with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. Playing against the number three team in the country is missed tackles. And number three, Jermaud Williams had an opportunity, but Aaron Green. Huge win in the Peach Bowl to cap the year. Boykin to throw on first down. Taking a shot. Listen me. Touchdown, TCU. There is a flag down back in the backfield. We talked about it earlier in the game. That's Colby Listen be at the top of your screen. He's just going to run a post route. And he's going to beat anyone on the Stephen F. Austin team with speed. You can't teach it. That's just something you're born with. And short field to work with. Most of that first quarter was played on this half. How about this? A flea flicker. Boykin off of the hands of Emmanuel Porter. Number 81, Juwan Store. You'll see him as well. But he's got to do the little things right. And... Catching the football consistently is one of them. Good open field tackle for George Stone. Spent two seasons there and quite the player. Boykin, strong arm throw to the outside. And Dotson's got a first down inside the 20. Cornerbacks not get beat deep. I mean, we've already seen that a number of times today. Great field position off of the Turpin punt return to finish the first quarter. Outside they go to Dotson. Slanina gives him a block and he sets up first and being hurt from a, a play coming from behind him. Boykin off of the play fake into the flats. It's Turpin bouncing off a tackle and diving in for the touchdown. It's the first of his career. And what at this point looks like will be the first of many. He's not very big, but they run a little misdirection in the backfield, and Cavante Turpin's just going to slip out into the flat. He's not a very big guy, but tough run right there. He's only 5'9", 150. Yeah. Redshirt freshman that they use in all kinds of different roles. Here comes Turpin. Oh, my goodness. Cavante Turpin is inside the 15. I think that was R1. Hands as much as possible today. Listen, be off of the sweep. Block from Green, turns the corner, and pushed out of bounds. I wonder if Boykin's going to run this one. He'll throw it, end zone, 
Jawan Story for the touchdown. You talk about depth at the skill spots, Brady. They've got it. Well, size matters, and Jawan Story is six foot. Going against the smaller Jimmy Houston, who really doesn't have much experience. We just mentioned Trey Rosser, number one, going out with an injury. Third running back we've seen in the game. It's Kravoris Johnson. And he gets a couple. He's more of their Apples last week. Second down and 20. Boykin, good feet. Zips one too tall for Nixon. This is an interesting point you made about showing all the things they are. Say maybe Baylor, for example, at the end of the season. Get a lot to prepare for versus this TCU offense. Perfectly thrown. It's Nixon. Bounce it outside. And Sean Nixon across the 40. On third. From the 41 now. Outside to Lissenby. And a good open field tackle. Maybe number six leading the way there. Number 14, Patrick Martin. Here's Dotson. Don't make that Nixon. Near midfield. Boykin at the top of your screen. Johnson downhill. Slipped the tackle and got a first down. And Jamal had the opposing team allowing that to take place. Not uncommon. Probably more so when you're up by 35 points. Boykin steps out of pressure. And you know, every TCU fan and all the coaches hold their breath. And look at a third down and seven against a four-man rush. Boykin double clutches, scans the field, and zips one incomplete. In search of Jarris to keep up. Starter still out there for TCU, and that ball was read well by Starnes. He didn't get the pick, but his teammate did. Starnes got his hands on it, and Marlon Walls picks up the interception. Read perfectly. Yeah, Zach Starnes broke on that ball immediately. Trevon Boykin kind of stared down Ty Slanine in the slot. And Starnes with the assist. Almost That's right. Like he set that. That's something off film studies? Yeah, and I think so. I, I think with a lot of the dropbacks of the quick game here for TCU to work situationally. If they choose to, they start with a bowling ball. Johnson, 5'11", 220. Strong run into the arms. Defense back out on the field versus Minnesota to close the game. Johnson again. Pretty good quickness for a guy his size. Like a late hit at the end. Did hmm? it have one of those little umbrellas in it? <laughs> Not my style, but maybe, <laughs> maybe you. I didn't say I was having a bye tie. Dumb because he just does not have confidence in their field goal kicker. He said, down 35 nothing in half. I told my team, you just have to believe in your teammates and stick to the fundamentals. All right, Chris, great stuff. They go to Josh Dotson on the first play of the second half. If you're an underdog and you're coming into an away stadium, you've got to start off fast, and you've got to do something early to really make this top-ranked team nervous. As you see Trevon Boykin put on throughout this game. They fake the run, throw to listen B, and there he is for a first down. Right, you got to look at uh, a 35 nothing lead. He goes back to the two minutes that he didn't like in his first comments to Chris. Sean Nixon spinning away from Starnes, and Tyus Lanina worked hard to get a block on the edge uh, week, but they said he was a little bit banged up. As Boykin looks long, wants listen B again. And it's broken up. That's a heck of a play by today. He also made some throws that he wouldn't have as recently as last year. There's a dart. Josh Dotson spinning free. All the way down to the 15. Right back with a strike. Stretch play into the wide side. It's Kyle Hicks. Down to the. They know, listen, B is a deep threat. They know Dotson's a deep threat. They're going to prevent that and make him go the long hard way. Oh, the run from Hicks to set up first and goal. First and goal. They look to throw the fade. Emmanuel Porter goes over the top for the touchdown. Beating Terry Mitchell. There is a flag down.
Pass interference, number 20. Defense, that penalty is declined. Touchdown. Well, this is big boy ball on the top of your screen. You got the 6'4", Emmanuel Porter, just elevating over the 5'10", Darren Mitchell. Like he's throwing an alley-oop to his power forward. Porter does a nice job of high point, a little, little easier day for him throwing in the pocket. Well, Bram Kohlhausen comes in, tries to show what he can do, pumps outside, goes over the middle to Tysla Nino, who's into Stephen F. Austin. Back-to-back -back throws for Kohlhausen, looking long, under throws it, Porter goes up and takes it His day and his season, Aaron Hicks. Spread downhill for the touchdown. Kyle kicks. Beg your pardon into the end zone. And it is now 55 0. Dolores Johnson on first down. Thrown down by Starnes after 13 yards and a first down. The uh, Another big game. Here's Turpin. That Oklahoma-Tennessee game, not big just for Oklahoma, but really. There's still going to be some kinks they're going to be trying to work out against the tough Tennessee team. Josh Dobbs, at quarterback. Jalen Hurd, tough running attack to go against. Jarrison Stewart with it out for a first down. Price. Flag down as Johnson gets four. First down at 22 as a result. Kohlhausen will try and get some of it back. Feeling the pressure. Got rid of it in the traffic. And it was somehow pulled in by Jalen Austin. He did all five of his passes. On his six, he's got a drop. <laughs> or apparently you can. Yeah, I guess so. Kohlhausen throwing deep and incomplete. Sailing that one. What a difference that was from last season where the Pac-12 finished in the bowl season. The SEC West, one of the best divisions in college. Johnson gets first down. <laughs> After the ball on the ground to start the play. Closing moments of this third quarter. Bram Kohlhausen. Now Johnson. Worse, but apparently that, that all does it. Yeah. Devoris Johnson bounces into the outside. Big bodied running back gets going downhill. First down from the 16. Kohlhausen off play action. Over the middle and caught for a touchdown. Oh, you mentioned his block on the last play. Now he pays it off with a Humby said is what you would create if you were playing Madden as far as what a quarterback should look like. Hicks dragging Stone for a few yards, and it'll be focused on their conference play, and they feel like if they could win their conference, they have just as much of a right as anyone else to be in the college football playoffs. So there's obviously something to that. Well, playoff committee not being able to determine which one was more deserving, so neither ends up making the college football playoff. 12-10 of the fourth quarter, Brady Quinn works scuttlebutt into the broadcast. You can be allowed to have a conference championship game, or do you petition with 10 and try to have one? They bubble it outside. Pick up of about five yards for Charlie Reed. Known to pull off a couple upsets up there in Ames, Iowa. Tough place to go. Yeah. Never been, though, have you? I have. It was not tough for me. I had some great barbecue and ice cream. Kind of be in contention for a Big 12 championship. Mason Rudolph, the starter at quarterback there. Pretty high on him and his ability. To still trying to mold into the spots they want. That's a big part of the reason why Gary Patterson decided to open things up and go losing out on offensive recruits here in the Metroplex that were going other places because they wanted to play. Fresh set of downs with eight minutes left. Christensen with a big hole and running hard for close strengths. This early in his career at Stephen F. Austin. Christensen dancing. Yeah, Baylor saw that. Yeah. That's Friday night in the opener. You talk about a team in Baylor who with a lot of hype around the AM quarterback transfer. Reminds me a little bit of Boykin, the way he his style of play. Very dangerous when he gets outside in the pocket of the open field. With 
154 in total yards, 75 of them coming on the touchdown run last drive. Lauren Easley. Sit in younger players. And you you got to do all you can nowadays to impress with style points. Sawyer with a nice run. Yeah, down to the two. First down. Obviously working the clock a little bit. Christensen bouncing off tacklers into the end zone. Touchdown. The senior out of California gets the score. TCU and X actually began his career at OK State before serving in the military for several years. Milstein pulls it again, diving across the 30. All right, it's in the opener against Minnesota last week. Minnesota's a better team than people realize. Yeah. I know they lost running back David Cobb and a couple pieces on defense, but watch and see. Minnesota will have a good year. Stacy Boyd with his first carry. In on your birthday weekend, huh? Oh, well, yeah. I'm sure they staked out the spots. I shouldn't assume that. Yeah, I should. 